Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Windy Hill Kennel. I'm Kathy Grandstaff, and we are located in Central Ohio, if you've never seen us before. So this morning, we're downstairs with Shammy's litter of puppies. Um, it was a crazy night last night here. We had major storms. Uh, first time in my life I've ever gone to the basement and couldn't do anything. No electric. We got electric back about 4 o'clock this morning and Vanessa is still without electric. So she's got a generator running for her refrigerator. So um, this list is pretty full on this, but if you've never seen us before, um, we put a new video on every week. We're almost on that Saturday day when we always tell everybody if we don't have them on by Saturday, there's something wrong. But uh, <clears throat> they will, we'll do new pictures of these guys. Um, well, I'll take pictures probably first of the week and get their baby pictures on. Then we'll do photos again. Once their eyes are open really good, usually between three and a half and four weeks old. Tails and dew claws are done in this litter. Um, other than that, if you have never seen us, if you hit the subscribe button below, it will notify you every single time we post a video. So if we don't usually post by that Saturdays, you know that there's something going on around here and uh, we can't get to it. So. Let's get started and we'll get these back to mom. So these are all, this is first of all, Shammy's absolute last litter. It's really, really sad to see her not be part of our breeding part of our kennel, but Shammy will always be here. We're not going to uh, raise her, raise puppies with her anymore, but I also, I don't want to send her out to rescue. We usually send them all to rescue um, and then We've used the same rescue for about 15 years, um, and it's so nice using that same rescue. We're comfortable with them. We know how they uh, screen the people that get their dogs, but Shammy is gonna be here till she passes. So we're gonna keep Sham Sham here with us. Um, we have two boys, four girls in this litter. Uh, there was one other girl, but um, she was, not going to be viable when she was born and we kind of knew that but we left her with mom and she finally passed um about a day and a half ago i guess it was so um i think as shammy has aged her litters have gone smaller and since this is her last litter this is a nice size litter it was easy on her um no and no problems whatsoever delivery went great and she has a litter of really really beautiful merle puppies so we're gonna go through, I microchipped all of them yesterday. I always hate to do that when they're little, so I let them get a couple days old before I did it. Um, we'll give you microchip numbers. We'll let you see what the puppies look like. And pics of the litter. Uh, I know that litter is the, um, the list on that litter. There's seven people and we have six puppies. So I told that seventh person, you know, don't say no, not ever, because I've seen Sometimes the last person moved to the first on the list, but I don't know if that, that probably won't happen with this litter. So um, let's get started. Let me turn this on. They're laying here so nicely sound asleep. I hate to bug them. She says, oh, don't touch my back. She's crunching her back while I touch her. She says, oh, that tickles. <laughs> All right, we're gonna start over here. And this one is a female. She is the only, I think, the only heavy marked phantom in this litter. So she's got the brown on her front legs, brown across her chest. She's got the brown on her cheeks. She's already got brown in her ears. So her eyebrows will be brown and she will always be a phantom. Her color will not change. Uh, she's always gonna be a blue Merle with spots. What makes them a blue Merle is just the fact that the, the major part of the body color is a blue and the, uh, the rest is just spots filled in. So she will stay blue Merle. She's got one black ear and one blue ear. You're black and blue, aren't you? All right, let me see what her microchip number is. I haven't even weighed these guys yet. They were doing so good when they were born, I just left them alone. 2115 is her, the last four of her microchip number. All right, Tootsie, I know it's cold. 12.4 ounces as of today. She's got a big white spot on her chest. Well, all the way white up under her chin. Her nose will turn brown. And her little white feet on the top will stay white. It's kind of hard to show you top of feet. If I turn her this way, I can kind of flip them up. And she's got white on her back toes. All right, I'm gonna lay you back down. Your brother just rolled over on his side. 
I'm gonna snuggle up there with him and maybe I can make pigs in a blanket. I'll have to try it, we're done. All right, this is the male. This is the biggest one in the litter. And he's got lots of heavy black marking. He's really gorgeous with this dark marking. We don't get him marked heavy very often, but he's really marked heavy. He's got both black ears on the back. He's got a little bit of blue Excuse on the me. face. And he's got um, blue on the back of his tail. All right, let me weigh him. He's 14 ounces. I'll hold you up and let you see his face. All right, let's do the next one. This is a little female. And she's the littlest in the litter. So she's got white upper chest all the way up under her neck. She's got white toes on all four feet. She's got really nice markings down her back. And it looks like, yeah, she's got real dark markings around her eyes. That'll look like mascara when it fills in. I didn't give you his number, did I? His number, the male is 2120. All right, this little female is 2117. And I know it's gonna be cold, Tootsie. Ready, here we go. 7.4 ounces. I know it was cold, I'm sorry. Way back down there. Yeah, way back down there. There you go. All right, so this one is, this one is not a chocolate, but you can see, and I don't know if it shows in the video, she looks very brown on her spots. She's probably gonna turn into a sable, uh, a sable merle instead of a blue merle, because this, this color is not the same as like on the blue. So she'll probably turn sable merle, which is kind of a um, peachish reddish, reddish color, like an apricot color down the road, but I don't think she'll go that far with the underneath color. She's got a little bit of blue on this ear over here and black ear on the other side. She's got a stripe, runs down her pants, down to her knee in the back. This has got an almost all black foot, but she's got white toes. I know there's nothing on my hands to eat. All right, let's see what you weigh. 9.6, so she's second smallest. All right, now we have the other, nope, this is a girl. So this is 2118. So her, probably her most significant marking spot is this slash on her forehead. She's got this black swoosh right on top of her forehead. That'll always be there. She's got really nice coloring on her back. And she's got big white chest. White goes all the way up her throat to her mouth. She's gonna be white all around her mouth. And she's got that white strip up her face. Yeah, let's see what you weigh. She's 11.8 ounces today. I know, I know, I hear you. I know, I hear you. Yep, I hear you. All right, let's do you. So this one is 2121. Let me move you this way so I can keep track of where I'm at. And this one is another female. She's got nice markings. Got lots of heavy markings of color around her face. She's got really pretty markings on her legs. A little tiny white spot on her chest, not a lot of white. She's got zebra stripes up this leg. So one leg is zebra striped and the other one's black. All right, all right, all right, hold on, I know. She's 12.2 ounces. The other thing with these guys, if you're new to us, she has completely sealed shut ears. Their eyes are also sealed, and those will open at about the same time. The ears will open about the same time the eyes do. Just like right there. We did this one, didn't we? Mm -hmm. I thought she turned around on me. All right, woo, <laughs> scared you to death. I'm gonna pick you up, ready? Says, oh, I was sleeping and you touched me. All right, this is the male. So we got a male on this end and a male on this end. Okay, okay, hold on. This one is 2114, really nice back markings. 
really pretty dark black face. I really like these black faces. Um, it's got a yin yang, uh, yin yang stripe up to here. And he's got stripes down the top of his head. This black side will always stay black and this side will always be blue. Let's see your chest. Oh, he's got a big black spot on his chest, a small white dot. Oh, and that zebra, or the yin yang goes right down his nose and under his chin. So that's really funny. His head is literally like sliced in half with color. Shh, I know you're rolling over. Hold on. Come over here. There, does that suit you better? All right, let's see what he weighs. And he has a white star on top of his head. 11.2 ounces. He's got this, I think this is the only one with a white star. This one has a white stripe. Okay, I'll lay it back down. Goodness. Anybody else have a white spot? I don't think so. Let me look. Oh, that one has a little strip. That one has a big strip. That one has none. This little piggy head. <laughs> this has none. And this one has the little stop, dot on the star on his head. So, that'll give you a glimpse into, a glimpse into how they're doing. Uh, she's a great mom. She is just, I wish I had 10 chamois in the kennel and that's all I would have. She's that nice of a dog. She has been probably the best dog that I've ever bought, including, well, we had a couple males that really stood out. Shh, I know you're crying. I hear you. Turn your head. You'll be all right. So I hope you've enjoyed their video. Um, I actually picked out a verse for today. So I've been doing verses at the end of my videos. I said I was gonna do this all year and I'm, I forgot to start it in the beginning of the litter the other day with Dazzle's kids. But So the verse for today is, there is a direct connection between obedience and getting your prayers answered. Don't keep telling God what you want without asking him what he wants. And receive from him anything we ask because we keep his commandments and do all that pleases him. It's 1 John chapter 3, verse 22. So I hope you have a blessed weekend. If you have any questions about these guys, please feel free to give me a call uh, or shoot me a text. I don't answer my phone on Sundays, but you can reach me anytime other than that. Clear up till 9 o'clock if you have a question. So here's the other thing. If the first person on the list wants to take their pick and they know which one they want, that's great. If they don't, I give everybody up until about four weeks before I say, okay, you gotta make up your mind. Um, a lot of people wanna wait, they wanna see eyes open. Some people don't care, they know exactly which one they want. Um, I know the second person on that list knows exactly what they want. So, but I get a lot of calls like, when are they gonna take their, tech, their pick? And I don't force anybody to take their pick. I kind of nudge you if it, it's been four weeks, but I know a lot of people want to watch them grow, see what they're like. And um, there's only two boys in this litter. The rest are all girls. So um, if the first person is only interested in a girl and you want to give me a call, that would be great because the second person wants a male. And um, then I can put his name on a boy. But if you want to wait and you're not sure if you want a male or female, that's fine. You know, everybody can just kind of wait and hang out and see what happens. So anyway, have a blessed one. I hope everybody was safe from the storms last night. Have a good one. We'll see you next week.